Hello, today we're going to take a look at the Yashica D medium format TLR camera. These cameras were produced from the late 1950s until the middle 1970s. At the time, they were considered an entry level camera for people looking to get into medium format photography. The same is true today. Now, this camera does not have a meter for setting exposure, so either follow the Sunny 16 rule or use an external meter to determine proper exposure. So this camera is an early f3.5 example. Later versions were faster with f2.0 aperture. At first glance, all the knobs, dials, buttons, and lenses on this camera can be a little daunting for the beginner, but it isn't that much different from a modern DSLR or mirrorless camera in full manual mode. There is a dial to set the shutter speed that is operated by your right hand and a dial to set the aperture settings that are operated by your left hand. These dials are located on the front of the camera between the two lenses. About the lenses, the top lens is the viewing lens. It is the lens you use when framing the picture and setting focus. The bottom lens is the taking lens. And this is the lens that sits in front of the film and is used when snapping pictures. This kind of arrangement was cheap and easy to produce, but does have one major drawback in that the image in the viewfinder is a reverse image. The reverse image will slow you down when framing the subject, but otherwise you'll be fine. So let's try to uh, put some film in this camera here. So on the bottom is a dial with O for open, C for close. We'll turn it to open and that opens the camera up. And inside you can see, you know, the camera, the film box, I guess it would be called, the dark room. So on the bottom here, we've got, it might be hard to see here, this a uh, spool. So that's where the actual roll of film we're putting in goes. So we got to move this, but we need this spool so that as the film is, as you take pictures, <laughs> the film is wound up on another spool. And that goes up here. Take your film. Be very careful. You don't want to unspool this, although it's hard to do that. All right, so again, that doesn't hurt at all. Take this piece of leader here. Put it into the film, roll it, because we want to wrap it around. And as we're spinning this up, you see that arrow? And then there's a red dial right there. A red triangle. We'll put the triangle down. Close the film. So you have the film closed. You come back over here and in this thing right here there's the letter S. You want to keep spinning the film until you have the number one in the spot. And then once you have the number one you're loaded and ready to go. How do we take a picture? Pretty straightforward, simple process with seven or eight steps that you have to remember, and you'll always forget one of them. All right, so the first thing you want to do is we want to frame the picture. So in this camera, it has what's called a waist level viewfinder. And so you'd open the viewfinder up, and then you can look down here at the focusing lens. And this is showing what your view lens is seeing, but it's in reverse. And so once you've got your picture framed and you're happy with what's in picture, you can turn this knob to set the focus. And so this, you know, you do it by distance. You can see here. Um, this thing also comes with a little magnifying glass so that you can see better to focus. And you got your focus set, you got your distance set. We'll say we're set at 3.5, 3 real close. Then you want to set, you want to take a meter reading either you know through an app or through an actual meter whatever you want to do and let's just pretend we've taken one and it's told us to set the camera at f4 for 125th, 125th of a second so what we do is we come here and the top here there's a uh, window and it shows two sets of numbers one is your f-stop one is your um, shutter speed and with your left hand left thumb you turn the dial and that sets your, your um, f-stop. So let's set this on four, which again, you probably can't see. No, but it's set on four. And then we'll spin here. This is the shutter speed on the right thumb. 
So once we've got that, we'll set that 1 25th of a second. So we have that set. And now we're ready to take our picture. We're ready to actually, we're not really ready to take the picture yet. We've got to um, set the shutter. We've got to cock the shutter so that it will fire when we press the shutter release button. To do that, you pull this lever down. And once you've done that, you can't change the shutter speed. So you want to make sure that you've got your exposure set before you cock the shutter on this particular camera. And so once we have everything set, so we've got it set, we've cocked the shutter, we've looked to make sure that our focus is good and you know that we've got everything opposed what we want and you push the shutter release button at the bottom. That shutter's been released. And once you've done that, you have to advance your film. To advance the film, you turn this knob, just like we did when we were loading it. And I push the button in sometimes to get it to go. And then you turn it until the next number appears and it will lock into place. And once you've done that, you're all set, ready to go to take your next picture. Okay, let's take some pictures this morning. So we're here at the um, Scarrett Bennett Center in Nashville, Tennessee. And the idea here is that we'll take a few pictures of this really lovely, lovely, lovely campus that used to be a um, college for women's religious studies, I believe. And so let's go ahead and take a few pictures and see what this little camera can do. Mm -hmm. 